In this video, I'm going to talk about a kind of a consumer application for using this type of mathematics. Um, we're going to use, in this in this video, we're going to use mental math to find a 15% tip for a, a $34.50 restaurant check. Uh, one of the things that you can do here is is use a little bit of mathematics to very easily and very quickly figure out percentages. Um, actually, what we're going to be using here is we're going to be using the dis distributive property to figure out um, these, this percentage tip for a restaurant check. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is um, get an understanding of this 15%. Now, one, one thing you can do with 15% is you don't look at it as just 15%. You can look at it as multiple percents. You can look at it as 10%. Plus five percent. So what we did is we took the fifteen. You kind of split it up into a five percent, uh, five percent, and a ten percent. Now what this does is this actually makes your math, even though you're splitting it up into what looks like two different problems, it actually makes the math a lot easier because um, it's a lot easier to find ten percent of an item as opposed to fifteen percent of an item. And then once you find ten percent of an item, uh, then actually finding five percent is relatively easy. Okay. Now, so what we want to do first is the $34.50 check. We want to find um, we want to find 10% of this. So let me move things over just a little bit. So let's take this, move this over. Oh, come on now, come on. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. So we want to find we want to find um, get my pen back here. Having troubles. There we go. All right. So what I want to do is I want to find 10% of, okay, 10% of $34.50. Now, if you remember from your basic percentages, to find 10% of something, all you have to do is just move the decimal place once to the left. So actually, 10% of $34.50 is going to be $3.45. Okay, just moving the decimal place once to the left, this zero is going to drop, and I got $3.45. So that's 10% right there. Now, 5% of $34.50, okay, that's, now that you might think, oh, crud, I got to get out of calculator, I got to worry about that. Not necessarily. If we know what 10% is, to find 5%, all we got to do is just find half of that. Okay, so half of that is going to be um, $1.00. And 70, just quick, quick mental math here. Okay, one dollar and 72, 725 cents. Now the thing is here, um, one thing you got, one thing you got to worry about here is if you have this, um, if you have this third decimal here with money, you only have two decimals. So with this third decimal, what we're going to do is we're going to make that 1.73. Okay, just rounding to make the math just a little bit easier. So now what we have here is we have a three dollar and forty-five cents. That's for the ten percent, and then we have a dollar seventy-three for the um, uh, for the five percent. You can very quickly add. You can very quickly add these together in your head to figure that out. The three and the four, or the three and the one, is going to make four. But then you also notice here that uh, the seven and four is going to make eleven. I was going to bump this one up just a little bit. So it's actually going to be a five dollar. $5.18 for the tip. So there we go. So using just a little bit of mental math, not not even worrying about adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, not doing a lot of stuff in our head, we were able to figure out the tip for this restaurant. So um, if I wanted to do a 15% tip, I would throw down $5, five and a quarter, five and a half, uh, something to that effect um, uh, for my wait staff. All right, that is a uh, practical application. That's a consumer application of this type of mathematics using the distributive property. Um, notice what we did here, a little bit more apparent for the distributive property. We're finding 15% of $34.50. So what I did is take the 15, take the 15 and split it up into 10 and 5s, take 34 times 10% and 3450 times 5%, which is the math that we did over here. So all this is what we did over here. Okay, just making it a little bit more blatantly apparent of what we did. We did use the distributive property to to do this. Okay, that is my consumer application. Hopefully this uh, video was of some help.